Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be part two of the free patterns that I found on Rippler and I'm testing out. So um, if you haven't seen part one, I posted that one on Friday and today I am going to also be releasing my bear pattern on Rippler. So if you are interested in any of the bear sizes, um, they should all be posted today as well as the bundle to get all four. Um, thank you to everybody that uh, encouraged me to work on that pattern and I really enjoyed the learning process and if anybody is interested in purchasing it through purchasing one of the sizes or all of the sizes through Etsy um, please let me know so that I can work on that if nobody if I don't get any feedback about anybody wanting it on Etsy I'm probably just gonna skip that part I'm so excited about it coming out so thank you guys so much for support on that um, I'm gonna include some clips here if you are interested in seeing what my bear pattern looks like and you're new here. So here are some pictures or videos of that. This is what my bear pattern looks like if you're interested in it. Uh, I have four different sizes and I worked on it for a while to make sure that my math was correct and that I didn't send out a half done pattern and I did not have a ton of people come back to me with criticism of it so I really am happy about that because that means I was able to uh, get most of my mistakes out of the way before I send it out to people and I hope to continue working like that in the future. I love this bear pattern. I'm definitely going to be using these at my markets. Um, I think medium and small are my favorite sizes um, and they're, they take the fastest. Um, they are the fastest to make so I think those would be best for my markets. But I like the idea of having one or two larger bears around just to fill the gaps and um, to have for the right customer if they want to come around and get it. So now let's get into the video. This is going to be part two of free Ribbler patterns that I found and I'm testing. So we're going to start from small to smallest to largest so these are going to be size small to medium patterns if you are interested in making any of these the pattern links well on rippler they let you link to the creators accounts so i'll have all of their accounts linked and they should be just in their creations if you're interested in making any of these patterns so for number one uh, we are going to start off with a no so blueberry plushie um, like I said in my first video, I am going to have a picnic basket full of little crochet foods. So this will go in there. I'll make a couple of these ones. It's super easy to make, super fast, great stash buster, no sew, um, aside from the blush and the starting and ending tail. So extremely easy. I used worsted weight, 3.75 millimeter hook, and 10 millimeter eyes. So I really enjoy this one. There's not much to say about it. It was incredibly easy. I would make it again. So if you are interested in this blueberry, then go ahead and check out the description. Number two on our list is gonna be the Celebration Crustacean. Looks like this. This one comes with the party hat pattern. I did not make it. I just wanted to make a little crab as I am a Cancer and I thought a little crab would be cute. Um, I was hoping it would be the size of a keychain, but it's a little bit too big for a keychain. So it's just one I'll probably have around it. So if you're interested in making a tiny little crab, this is the one to go with. For this one, I used worsted weight yarn, 3.75 millimeter hook, and six millimeter eyes. I did little bits of blush. It was super easy to make. All of these little legs are one piece. Um, the claws one piece. So it's... I think five pieces in total and it's really not hard to sew together so I enjoyed this one um, the amount of sewing is really not that much you know it's about the size of my palm so I would make this one again I think this one will be great for summer next year 
So I'll do more of these at the end of the year, unless this one sells. I doubt this one will sell in the fall. Also bring it because it's bright and eye-catching and it's good to have a different mix because you never know whose favorite animal, who loves crabs that's coming through there. Number three is gonna be the Baby Sunflower Turtle uh, by Jill's Crochet Space. So freaking cute. I love it. Um, I use worsted weight, 3.75 millimeter hook, and 8 millimeter eyes. So stinking cute. Um, this one is the only turtle pattern I did of all these free turtle patterns that didn't have a tail, but I don't think it looks weird. I think it's really cute. Um, so the petal pattern on this one is a little bit confusing. Um, but I did figure it out. They just, it's just the wording of what they said, but I did all of the half double crochets in the same space and then worked my way around. Either way, my math was off um, to get the flowers, the petals all the way to the head. So I added an extra two petals, I think. If, if you have intermediate skill and can troubleshoot that a little bit, this is a really cute pattern. And if not, then it's a really good basic turtle pattern without the petals. Very, very cute. I really liked this one. Um, I think maybe part of the problem is that the head came out smaller than it's supposed to with the thicker yarn if you weren't using worsted weight. Possibly that's one of the problems, but um, with worsted weight, I had to add in two extra petals. But it's fairly intuitive if, if you've got the skills, I suppose. I would make this again. It's itty bitty, but not too little. I think this one would be really cute to spy. Number four is gonna be the No Sew Baby Axolotl by Loretta's Loops. Yeah, um, this one I used worsted weight, 3.75 millimeter hook, and six millimeter eyes. Tons of people use this pattern. It is really cute. Uh, my husband really likes this one. I would say this is probably my least favorite of all the axolotl patterns I did. I have one for each of the three parts of this series. Um, it might just be the mouth. I think maybe if I hadn't put a mouth on it, I would like it better. I don't know. Um, I think also the main reason I don't like this one is that in worsted weight, it just does not look as good around the seam of the neck. Um, like when you increase, it just kind of looks goofy. Maybe I need to try making it in a, with a smaller size hook to create, to stop any gaps that, um, I find to be awkward. Um, so I might try that and see if that would be a good, um, keychain, but I just don't think it's as cute as the other two patterns. Um, at least the way that I made it. I've seen some other people make it and it's very cute. So, um. This is the curse of the worsted weight yarn and plushy patterns. Sometimes it just does not work out and I just don't think it's as cute as it could be. Really cute in plushy yarn, but plush yarn, but really not as cute in, in worsted. It was very easy to understand. It was kind of fast and it is cute. So if you like this one, this is your style, definitely go for it. But I would say it's not my personal style. Like if you look at the hole in the neck, Right there, just, mm, I think plush yarn covers those better. Um, so I would skip making this one again, to be honest. Number five is gonna be Valentine's Cow by Sheep Shop. Sheep is spelled S-H-E-A-P shop. I think this one is absolutely adorable. I would make it again, especially for Valentine's Day. It's so cute. Heart pattern is included. Um, I think I put my eyes maybe a little bit lower than they put their eyes. Um, either way, it's cute either eye placement. For this one, I used worsted weight yarn, 3.75 millimeter hook, and eight millimeter eyes. I wanted to kind of make it look like a baby. Um, it's why I wish I had, uh, they had like a different color spot around. I did some tapestry crochet for the pink and the head. So cute, little pink cow. So here's what I wrote in my notes about this pattern. It is not specific after all color changes in the pattern. You have to assume to finish out a round with single crochet. Round nine forgets to tell you to switch to color A. 
the magic round and second round are often combined in the same step, which is kind of confusing when you're going around because usually the magic ring and the first six single crochet or whatever they use is step one. They put that as a notation instead of a step. Um, so that was kind of confusing when I was going back and counting my rounds to make sure I was on the right round. I had to really pay attention. So if you're a beginner, this is probably not the best one for you to start with. Um, I will probably write this pattern down with all of my corrections to, to make it again, but I would not use the creator's pattern to make it again because it had just a lot of mistakes in it. It didn't seem like they um, reviewed it or did it themselves afterwards. Um, I don't think there's that many people that tried it. This one I embroidered little nostrils on the nose with the same color yarn. So it has texture in your life, but on the camera it doesn't show up as well. I think the pattern is super cute and with corrections made, it could be very easy to follow. So um, hopefully the creator will be able to fix that. But I really enjoyed this pattern. I just wish it was um, a little bit be well better written. I wish it was a little bit better written. They have a second cow pattern as well, um, which maybe that one's better written, but I chose this one of the two that they made. Um, I really like it. This is the one, this is really the only one with a lot of mistakes that I kept in because I thought the visual of it was super cute. Most of the time when they have mistakes, I don't keep it in. Um, I do have another one actually in this group that had similar problems, which you'll see. Because I had to make two of it to see if I was the problem. I was not the problem. The pattern is the problem. <laughs> Number six is Crochet Mushroom Boy um, by Solandis Crochet. So stinking cute. Um, I love this one. I kind of did a toadstool pattern instead of doing circles. I thought this was adorable. Um, I sewed the bow on after I tied it into a little bow. I used a uh, worsted weight, 3.75 millimeter hook, and 10 millimeter eyes. You can't do a mouth. I think the mushroom boys look cuter without a mouth. I could have added blush, um, but either way, this one's super, super cute. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to stuff the body in this pattern. Um, it doesn't tell you to, uh, and I did. And it's cute stuffed, but I think it'd also be cute flat. I don't know if it would stand though, um, if it was not stuffed. Um, it was super easy, super fun, very, very cute. Um, it was kind of fast, not extremely fast, but this is a relatively fast project. I think you could probably do this in an hour or under. So I would make these again for the fall, like definitely um, make a couple of these little guys. Um, I like doing different mushroom boy patterns. I have several of my own designs that I'd like to make. So it was fun to work on this one while I'm trying to get some videos out. Um, I am looking forward to making some other mushroom patterns and trying out some other ones for the fall. Because obviously mushrooms are gonna sell well during the fall. All right, so let's see number seven. This one is called the Buttercup Breakfast Stingray by by.eol.co. Um, the word by is also in their username. So I chose not to make this one breakfast themed because they used like specific um, little crochet buttons or something on the top that looked like butter and whatever. And it was really cute, don't get me wrong. It was like light yellow and uh, almost like a pancake which you can do that with this pattern, but I used it to just make a basic manta ray. Um, I think it's so freaking cute. I would absolutely make these again in different colors and themes. This would be super cute with in pink with some cream on top. I've seen done a bunch of different themed manta rays over time, so I'm looking forward to, that, to making more of these. Um, for this one, I did worsted weight, three point five, sorry. For this one, I did worsted weight, a 3.75 millimeter hook, and 12 millimeter eyes. So I, I kind of wanted to have big baby eyes, and I think it looks adorable. It's fairly big, about the size of my hand. Um, super easy, no sew. Um, I only had to sew some gaps. Um, 
I think when you're extending it here is where I had to sew, sew gaps. So I just um, added in a piece of yarn and uh, sewed those real quick. But other than that, very easy. I didn't have to do that, but I like mine to not look wonky or cheap. So that's what I did. Um, I definitely will be making more of these. I think these will be a hit. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think these will be a hit and they're the perfect size to be a reasonable price. So stinking cute. I love the manta ray patterns everybody puts together. I wish I could find a little keychain version, but adorable. This next one is Corn by Joe's Crochet Space. Um, it is two pieces and there's the corn. You could sew the husks down if you wanted. I leave them on there so that if a kid gets it, they can play with them. Um, <laughs> the little blush is so cute. I don't even like corn, but the crochet corns are so cute for some reason. Um, this one I use worsted weight, 3.75 millimeter hook, 10 millimeter eyes, and I also embroidered some blush on there. It's a two piece toy. It's very cute, um, very easy to follow. Um, it's a well-written pattern. I would make this one again. I cannot wait to put this one in my picnic basket with the strawberry and the pickle and the blueberry. It's gonna look great just having the assortment of everything in there. I have to find a way to attach these so that um, they don't get separated during the market, but it's so cute. I definitely wanna do bigger corns, um, but I feel like this pattern is very intuitive and I could easily size it up to make corns, so to make bigger versions, but it's a little baby corn. This next one, number nine, page four. This one is the only one I had to make two of to double check my um, my math on it. Um, the, let's see. So for this one, though it is super, super cute, this one is Jellyfish by Honey Bun Crochets. Uh, I use worsted weight, 3.75 millimeter hook, and 10 millimeter eyes. Okay, so for this one, the magic ring is not counted as a round, which threw me off. So two patterns did that, and it really throws off your numbers when you're used to counting rounds. Um, the math seems off on the frills, so these little, I couldn't get my math to uh, be the same as their math um, on the frills, so I just kind of had to adjust it so this one has less frill and this one has more i prefer the more um but you can just add extra i think it comes up short for the amount that there's they say you should have for each one of these little like ruffles it just came up short so this one i try to make it match the number of ruffles by skipping and i just didn't like it either way their math was off um i tried it twice it was easy to make the adjustment, but it is frustrating when you're trying to follow a pattern and that math should be right. Um, it was fast, it was cute. The tentacles take the longest amount of time. So if you wanted to make it just a flat octo instead, but it's not the right amount of tentacles for an octo. So, you know, I'm gonna keep looking for a good jellyfish pattern, but I think I'll look on YouTube. Um, I just didn't see a good one on there that I liked. Um, but these are very cute. I'll definitely take them. I'm gonna sell them, but I would not make them again from this pattern personally. Uh, but if you're interested and you know what you're getting yourself into with those details, then go ahead and try it. But not a, a super fan of this one. Um, I'm hoping somebody will release another jellyfish pattern on Ribbler for me to use. <laughs> okay. So for number 10, it's gonna be An Astronaut by Van Vaz Amigurumis. Um, this one I used worsted weight yarn, a 3.75 millimeter hook, and I didn't use any safety eyes for this. I believe this pattern was made for uh, baby mobiles. Um, so it's really cute. They had it in white. I decided to make a pink astronaut because I thought it was so cute. And I'll definitely make more. I want to make orange and blues and stuff like that. This one is so cute, so little, lots of little details. Um, very easy to understand, super fast to make um, for the size. And this is like the biggest of the mediums. I think mainly just because of these arms, which actually were not annoying to make. 
Um, I think, I don't remember how many, but you didn't even have to stuff them. The legs are stuffed, but the arms are not. And they have like a little white accent on the face. My husband loved this one too. Um, I think it'd be cute with a little backpack. Um, so I might make those and add those onto mine. Um, but regardless, so, so cute. I think it'd be adorable to make a little rocket and stand all these little astronauts next to the rocket. So I might have like a little space station set up at uh, my market. We'll see what I got. Um, Cause I got a bunch of different stuff, but I, there's all these little themes I want to make. But this astronaut pattern, I was so excited to make. I really enjoyed it and I want to make bigger astronauts. So this definitely gives me like um, some ideas. I think the ones I would make the most out of this are the, I would make the corn again, the sunflower turtle, blueberry, super easy. I absolutely would make that again. I'd make the corn again the manta ray, the astronaut, the sunflower turtle, so cute, and the mushroom boy. I think I'd make a couple of these, not tons and tons, but I'd make a couple of these for the fall and see how they do. Obviously when I do go to markets, I will let you guys know how these products did, but um, I really enjoyed making these videos and making all of these different projects. Uh, I was so glad to get back into crocheting because I didn't realize how much pain I was going to be in. Um, sorry, I didn't realize how much pain I was going to be in after I had the baby. Uh, I brought crochet to the hospital. I couldn't even lift my arms. I was so exhausted. I've never felt every inch of my body be so exhausted. Um, so it took me a couple weeks to get back into it. So unfortunately, I lost about a month of crocheting. Uh, two weeks before having the baby, setting up my apartment, and then two weeks after having the baby because I was just so sore. But once I could sit up and start working, I have been for the last couple weeks, and that's where I've made all of this stuff. Um, and I'm very excited to get keep getting back into it, and thank you guys so much for watching part two. I loved making all of these, and I'm very excited to show you guys all of them together in my what I made in June and July video. Um, I will be doing some time testing on these like I said in the last video if you watched that one on my TikTok which I'll also have linked below. <laughs> my daughter's making noise. Um, I'll have my TikTok link below if you would like to watch me um, time out some of these patterns to see uh, what I'm going to charge for them. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be including my pricing online since I'm still working on it, but I do have an idea. So I might just give out my idea and, and change it later, but um, go with the flow and get a dialogue going about pricing. Because uh, that might help me a little bit since I haven't sold anything crochet in a while. Alright, well, I've got to go and take care of my kiddos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you coming back to my channel over and over again. Um, if you're new here, thank you for coming. Hopefully you found something that you wanna make. All these were really fun to make and they're very different types of patterns. So I hope that you find something that you enjoy. Um, I will be getting back to themed patterns as I find like all over. I'm gonna do one for the fall, for Halloween. Um, Somebody recommended that I do Shark for Shark Week, but this is Shark Week, and I had already been working on this for weeks, which is a fantastic idea. So maybe next year, um, I couldn't find a ton of shark patterns, so I might just need to make one instead. I appreciate you guys watching and staying tuned. If you would like, all of these patterns, again, are linked down below, and um, so is my Instagram and my TikTok, so on and so forth. So if you'd like to follow me across social medias, uh, please do. I appreciate you guys' input on what I've been working on, and you guys are so supportive and sweet. So, again, thank you so much for the support. Alright, I am gonna go hang out with my kids and crochet some more. So, bye.